morning everybody and welcome to another Red Fox Outdoors video. Today we are going to continue on the review for the Pinnacle 180 Hammock by Ridge Outdoor Gear. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video of the Half Moon, I'll put a little card right up here in the left corner for you. Uh, go back and watch that one. It's part of this series that I'm doing for uh, their hammocks. Um, I don't have the Pinnacle 360 yet, but um, I don't know if I'm going to end up getting it or not, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the Pinnacle 180 today, and I'll show you. That's the one I normally use when I camp, and it's one I've used for uh, probably seven or eight years now. So, anyway, let me uh, go get that, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Alright, so <clears throat> what I have here is the Ridge Outdoor Gear Pinnacle 180. It comes in a little tube, unlike the pocket that you saw on the other one. This one here is a tube type storage. It has open ends on both ends of it. And the straps go on either end. It comes with two 8 foot straps, two carabiners, and the hammock. Now, what I did was, with mine, was because the 8-foot straps wouldn't work for me, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, got me some 12-foot straps, which you can go and buy. Uh, you can get them at, like, Academy uh, Sports and Outdoors. You can get them at Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, you can probably get them at just about any of the sporting goods stores. Uh, you can probably get them at, like, Cabela's or Bass Pro or places like that as well. So, anyway, let me show you how this sets up. <clears throat> and... Uh, We'll go ahead and set it up real quick. Now, <clears throat> another thing that I do with mine, because this doesn't come with an underquilt, I took and bought an underquilt for mine. Let me set this over here to the side. All right, so this is the underquilt that I bought for mine. It's made by One Tigress. It is a downfield um, 350 gram per square meter of it. <clears throat> it's made with uh, 20D nylon, uh, ripstop nylon, uh, breathable polyester material, um, <clears throat> fill weight is 350 grams and it's rated down to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Um, suitable for adults and kids and it's used for all kinds of hammocks so you can use it with just about any hammock that you have. Now, going back to the Pinnacle 180, um, the Pinnacle 180 um, is a double hammock, so it's not a single where it's uh, just for like a smaller area or something like that, but this in here is the, the double wide, so you can have more room to sleep in it. So let me move the camera here, and we'll go ahead and start setting it up. Let me move the camera over here out of the way real quick. And let's see, I think I'll set it up right there. All right, let me get the straps out of it. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I just pull the little deal there, open the end, take the little straps out. And what I do is I dangle the the little carabiner out of it and then pull it closed and then I'll take the other one out the other end and I'll dangle the carabiner out of it set that down for a minute all right let me get the straps on the tree That's that one on that one. 
I might have to wrap this in a couple of times, so give me a second. By leaving the uh, carabiner hanging out one end of it, let's pull this one loose, open it up, and then I don't have to worry about pulling the whole hammock out of it because it won't come out because it'll hold it and keep it from going all the way through. So just pull one end of it out. take the bag I'll put it back down here on this end where, where I know where the head end is tip it back up and that lets me know the zippers are down here on this end of it all right so as you can see this in here already has the bug net attached to it it's already set up so you don't have to worry about like pulling the, the net up and trying to set it all up and that kind of stuff. Now what's really cool about this one on the Pinnacle 180, the changes that they made to this was really cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not, but this here is actually a metal cable. Um, it's stronger than the paracord. So this in here they say will hold over 300 pounds in it. Um, I wouldn't like try to put over 300 pounds in this thing. <laughs> um, just safety reasons. I don't, you know, it just depends on how high you want the hammock up. Some people say they like them set up uh, about 18 inches above the ground. Some say 24. Um, I like to hang mine kind of high because once you set in it, I'll do is I'll take and sit in it, let it stretch the cable, the uh, straps, and uh, so that way, if they do slide or whatever, then I'll know exactly how high I need to, to keep the hammock or whatever. But right now, I'm about 24 inches off the ground right now as I sit, so it's not too bad about right where it should be and it already comes with uh, the no seam bug net which is this bug net here is different uh, than the one from the half moon series the half moon um, has a no seam bug net but the bug net in that one the uh, holes are a little bit bigger than these here these here are a lot smaller also with this one it has the same thing as the half moon with the uh, sliding pocket on the on the uh, the ridge line so it's got a pocket for your cell phone right here and then it's got a pocket for all your keys and wallet and all that kind of stuff you can put in here so very very cool this in here is also a, uh, a lay flat hammock as well so you lay at a, at a diagonal inside of it so your head can be here and then your feet down here and if you lay if you lay kind of diagonal in the hammock, you get a completely flat lay in it. Like I said, I've had this one for about seven or eight years, and this one here, I've had zero issues out of. My half moon one, I had a couple of issues with it where it was tearing at the, the seams on the end of the hammocks on both sides. I had the ridge line snap on it twice. 
So I sent it back in two or three times to have them repair it and it still was never the same. So I bought the Pinnacle 180 and the 180, the difference between the 180 and the 360, the only difference is the zippers. The 180 only zips on one side, the 360 has zippers on both sides. Now the net on this one is not completely removable, you just zip it to a certain point and then it, you just kind of stuff it in a little stuff sack. Uh, you don't have to re-zip it back to the hammock or anything like that, you just unzip it to a certain portion and then it just kind of wads up and goes into a little sack on the end down there. So, great little hammock. I uh, absolutely love the thing. I've had, like I said, zero issues out of it. <clears throat> this is the one that I camp with all the time. And this is the one that I use every time I go camping. I don't camp in a tent anymore on the ground. I just strictly use this here. The only time I use a tent if I'm going to camp on the ground is if there's no place for trees, like say out in the, like the West, West Texas desert or something like that where there's no trees, then I'll set up the tent or something like that. But... As long as I have trees around, I can pretty much set this thing up anywhere. So, and this is what I normally use all the time. Uh, let me get the underquilt for you real quick. So again, this is the underquilt. It's made by the uh, One Tigress, <clears throat> sorry, One Tigress uh, camping gear. Uh, you can find them online. They have a, a lot, a lot of different stuff. They've got tents, they've got hammocks, they've got underquilts, they've got um, tarps, you name it. One Tigress has a lot of really cool stuff on their site. Um, I bought the One Tigress one because it was a review that I saw online from YouTube. So I wanted to try it out and see how it went. The very first one I bought was a single and it didn't fit this one. I tried to use it, didn't realize it was too small and found out that um, you have to buy a, a double wide under quilt for a double wide hammock not a single wide for a double wide so um, found that mistake out just by trial and error so it's something that you'll need to be aware of so um, if you order a, a double wide hammock then you need the double wide um, under quilt to go with it um, if you order a single wide then you can use a double wide or a single wide with it so uh, just be aware um, I made that mistake, didn't realize it at the time, but learned my lesson. So now I've got the double wide and I've used this. Um, I've had this down into um, about minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with this and my sleep system, which I have a military sleep system that I use. Uh, it's military issued and it's it goes down to, I think they said minus 40, and I've had it down to minus 20. So. <laughs> really nice sleeping bag uh, it comes with the the summer bag the winter bag and the bivy and that'll get you down to about minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, I think that's somewhere around um, could be minus 30 C not quite sure on that could be a little a little more a little less I don't remember but when it gets down to the minuses like that it's um, somewhere in there it gets about the same so anyway let me uh, pull the, um, the under quilt off here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up with the hammock so it's got a little cross and it goes across and it keeps the hammock from being pulled out of the, the deal so you have to loosen the sides of it pull your cross straps and then you can pull the under quilt out so let me do that now and I'll get it set up here real quick I'll just pull it out of its stuff sack it's there we go Let's set that right over there now it comes with um, two little these little itty bitty little um, carabiners and it didn't work for me, so I got the bigger carabiners. And it comes with this little, like, stretchy bungee stuff um, on, even, on both ends of it. Um, because it didn't work for me, I had to find a, a, a way to make it fit the hammock. 
And the only way I could do that was by getting the bigger carabiner. So what I did is I come right up here where the uh, hammock attaches. Let me show you here real quick. So all I do is I hook the under quilt there on the strap for the, the hammock. And then I'll stretch it out. I'll show you how I hook it up here. Just like that, you got your under quilt on your hammock. <clears throat> Pretty easy setup. Now, um, <clears throat> with this one here, it will keep you extremely warm. Um, so, when you go to sit down in your hammock, be careful. You don't want to like sit on top of the like the top of this ridge section here. Be sure that you pull your hammock out of it and then like kind of slide into the hammock because you don't want to like end up like ripping it or whatever. So get in it real quick here. There we go. Take off my shoes. Now I'm in it, I'm laid at a diagonal, and I'm laying completely flat. If I don't have it high enough over here on this side, just pull it up a little bit. And there you go. So that's how I do my setup. And that's how I sleep during the winter. I'll have a either a sleep, sleeping bag in here or I'll sleep with just a regular wool blanket. And that's the uh, Pinnacle 180. And like I said, I've had no issues out of this hammock at all. Like none. This is the only hammock that I take, I mean, I take, <clears throat> I take all my other hammocks with me. I do a lot of testing and stuff like that. I'll buy extra hammocks just to take and test and check out and stuff like that. So, anyway, that's the Pinnacle 180 with the One Tigress uh, under quilt underneath it. And um, I've had this down to minus 20 and it is perfectly comfortable. Uh, but you need a super good sleeping bag to do that. So, um, also you'll need some kind of like a head cover, like a beanie or a toque or something like that maybe. Um, you know, when you're sleeping, because your head will sometimes be out of your sleeping bag unless you've got your head covered some way. Um, but there you go. That's the Pinnacle 180 from um, Ridge Outdoor Gear. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you'll find uh, maybe y'all can use this and it's fairly inexpensive. It's only about $60 right now on sale um, Like I said it comes with the, the two straps the two carabiners and the hammock itself and it has the metal cable instead of the paracord so very enjoyable uh, You'll get a great night's sleep in it once you're used to it So anyway guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this Again, this is the Pinnacle 180 and the One Tigress Under Quilt. I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. And until next time, guys, have a good day. Bye, guys.